Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, welcome back. So uh, we are noticing those high clouds start to increase. Those are usually a precursor of uh, things to come, and uh, we will finally get some rain uh, out of those clouds. Uh, but also some new information to share with you, too, regarding the weekend forecast. So 76 at the top of the hour, uh, the barometer will start to fall, this number, 3003. So once that happens, that's another indication uh, that the weather uh, will be changing. So it's the final offer of great weather uh, with windy, much cooler weather building in by the weekend and kind of a windswept rain at times particularly Saturday morning. But some of the new information is actually now slowing everything down. So even tomorrow morning might not be too bad uh, with at least some sun and then uh, some wet weather arriving by the evening. Numbers out there now are in the upper 70s from Utica to Rome uh, and we're in the mid 70s in Cooperstown. Low 70s Springfield Center, Worcester. 74 and up in the Adirondacks, high, uh, temperatures here are in the low 70s at last check. So here's the setup this coming weekend as winds will shift into the north and west. And particularly on Sunday, we're going to get into some scattered lake effect rain showers. But I think the way the wind will align itself, the most persistent and consistent rain showers will be north. Uh, of uh, the area on Sunday. There will still be a few regular just scattered showers coming through. So here's the setup tonight. Warm air out ahead of this cold front that's marching east, pushing through portions of uh, Detroit and getting in towards Cleveland, Ohio. You can see the band of wet weather associated with that. That will arrive here tomorrow late in the day. And then there's this next cold front to the west. That's the one that really has the teeth, the much cooler air filling in behind that and it will be here by Sunday. So we'll watch the clouds increase tonight. There could be a spotty shower around late tonight and into tomorrow morning, uh, but that would be about it. Clouds will continue to increase as we go into Friday and then watch. Here we are at five o'clock, still not that much. That's what I mean. This whole system slowing down, but I would hedge my bets on at least a few scattered showers passing through and then watch what happens Saturday. So Saturday morning, some embedded rain and thundery downpours indicated by these yellows. Uh, so some pockets of heavy rain. So Saturday morning, probably likely washed out. But watch what happens as we get into the afternoon. Notice how it kind of pivots north. And by 5 o'clock, we actually see the steady, consistent rain taper to just a few spotty showers. And there could even be a few breaks of sun by Saturday in the evening. Tonight, breezy, late tonight, clouds increase, there could be a few spotty showers. It's still mild, like ridiculously mild, 62. Uh, with the system slowing down tomorrow, 72 might be a little low. We'll continue to watch the clouds increase, breezy, showers developing into the afternoon. Then we go into the weekend, showed you this yesterday too, the cooler air uh, will start to fill in by the time we get to Sunday. 70 forecast looks like this. So wet weather developing in the, we'll say mid to late afternoon tomorrow, 72. Uh, like I said, Saturday morning, there's going to be periods of rain, some of that locally heavy, but it's not all day. I think it tapers by the evening. Uh, temperatures in the 60s before turning cooler by Sunday, only around 50-ish. We're going to have these scattered passing lake effect rain showers, lake effect type weather, meaning some areas will have some wet weather, some will have some intervals of sun. That's the pattern we're going into next week. And that's all right. I know there were plenty of people that were hoping for this fall weather, kind of put off by the heat. So fall It'll weather here is here. This weekend. Somebody will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, Craig, thank you. When we come back, new developments with the downtown parking garage and the city trying to sell it. A recap of Wednesday night's Common Council meeting next after the break.